Hello there, it's Avinam Nerola. I'm back here with my new video. Guys, it's time to get ready for day 10 of CPLT 2020. Day 10 is also a double header. To begin the day's proceedings with, we have a day match between Barbados Tridents and St. Lusa Zooks. Let's preview the matchup. Do like, share, and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel as well. On 30th of August 2020, the Queen's Park Oval Port of Spain Trinidad is going to host this matchup. Queen's Park Oval is infamously known as a spin paradise. Spinners love to bowl in this venue. The averages and economies of most kind of spinners are outrageous in this venue. As we witnessed yesterday, a bit of assistance was available for batsmen and pacers as well. All kinds of players were getting at least a tad bit of assistance, but still, above all those, the spinners were the absolute standouts of both games. These all happenings occurred due to the installment of fresh pitch. Expect similar conditions to sustain in this match as well. According to the forecast, rain has been expected during the course of this matchup. Considering the DLS factor, the toss winning captain shall most probably opt to field first. St. Lucia Zooks, Andre Fletcher, wicketkeeper, Rakim Cornwall, Mark Dale, Roston Chase. Nazibullah Zadran, Muhammad Nabi, Jabel Glenn, Darren Sammy Captain, Scott Kugelain, Kesrik Williams, and Zahir Khan. This is an unchanged 11. Only one player of this 11 hasn't been performing well in one department, Darren Sammy in batting department. Everything else is quite sorted out. Everyone except Sammy, the batter, are in a jubilant touch. Nabi probably is the most valuable player of this season until now. Their extravagant form can be reflected in the points table. Currently, they are ranked second in the table. Barbados Tridents Johnson Charles, Sai Hope Wicketkeeper, Kyle Mayers, Corey Anderson, Jonathan Carter, Jason Holder, Ashley Nurse, Mitchell Sandner, Raymond Rifer, Rashid Khan, and Naeem Young. Every single player of this 11 can bat, plus 9 of them can bowl as well. This 11 is a perfect mixture of batters and bowlers. Aaron Walsh Jr., a brilliant all-rounder is still missing in this lineup to bring in a brilliant batter, Jonathan Carter. Three of the best spinners of the whole world are present in this lineup, except Hope and Anderson. Every other player has been performing magnificently well. I have now taken a firm lead in my prediction scoreline, 12-6. This time around, I am picking St. Lucia Zooks as the potential winner of this matchup due to the extra form that their players have currently. Take care.